Hi there, in this video I'm going to go through with you how to prepare a spreadsheet for import if you decide to not use the automatic bank feed feature. Alternatively, if you have found that there are missing transactions in your bank feed, you can then import just the missing data. So firstly in your bank feed screen, you can go directly to the import page by clicking on connect and choosing the import. Uh, option. And just double check that the bank account selected is the correct one. And this here will ask you for the bank where you have obtained your spreadsheet. Uh, we have quite a comprehensive list here, mostly our Australian banks. Um, if, you, if you find that your bank is not on this list, you can create your own spreadsheet, which is what I will demonstrate, and choose the SASU CSV as the option. And the next one um, suggests is a CSV, comma separated values spreadsheet, as this is the only acceptable spreadsheet. So here's the spreadsheet I've prepared earlier. As you can see, um, I've already filled in most of the information. Now you will need the first line, which is the heading. This is an important line so that we can identify what the data is. So the, uh, the fields are date, amount, description, and reference. Reference field is not mandatory, so you can leave that blank if you wish. But should you add something to the reference field, it will just be added um, as an extension of the description. And make sure your date range is date, month, and year. The amounts in positive and the amounts in negative note the, the minus sign in front of the figure. Once you're happy with this, make sure you save it as a CSV. Choose your file. and hit the import button. Okay, so once the import has successfully gone through, you will be able to see there are transactions that appear now under the, uh, the bank account and they're ready to be matched as the suggestions are coming up except for uh, one particular transaction which um, is just a cash out which is probably a journal entry post.